Hello, Power Comics fans, and welcome once again to my love letter to the Bronze Age of Comics, The Masters, and the Kickstarter campaign for issue number four. This 48-page issue continues the saga of the art heist of the century perpetrated by none other than the Masters themselves and contains everything you'd hope to find in a classic comic, superheroes and villains, action and suspense, twists and turns, and of course, fun and games. You have already met the diabolical Surreal Ordeal in issue number two, and the mysterious Clerk and Graffiti in issue three. But are you ready to meet the final two masters? Only two portrait paintings remain to complete the plan, and Master Villain's Panorama, whose magic camera can trap his adversaries in a treacherous black and white world, and the devilish master assassin for hire, Monsieur Petit Reynard, are up to the task. But not so fast. Our protagonist, the Black Owl, calls in for backup from two of his crime-fighting friends, Flyman and Twister, to help stop them. As with the first three issues of the Masters, the art for issue four was created by comic book legends that need no introduction. The first chapter, and issue four's cover A, features the pencils of Val Merrick and the inks of Joe Rubenstein. This cover will also be available in black and white, to give you the feel of what it would be like to be trapped in Panorama's magic camera. The second chapter features the pencils of Alan Weiss and the inks of Andrew Peepoy with an original Alan Weiss cover for variant B. By popular demand, on this Kickstarter, we have added two additional homage covers. First, we have Chuck Patton's tribute to Avengers 223 by Ed Hannigan and Klaus Johnson, featuring our very own Flyman and Arrow. Second, we have Ed Bennis' tribute to the Justice League of America number no. two by Phil Jimenez and Andy Lanning, featuring our very own Twister. And as we've done in the past, all previous issues of the Masters will be available in case you missed any, with some new additions. Issue one cover A from Stephen Butler. Issue one cover B from Bart Sears. Issue two cover A from David Perrin and Al Milgram. Cover B from Tom Morgan. Additional cover for issue number two from Joe Staten, featuring our beloved hero, Black Owl, is variant cover C. Issue three, cover A from Ron Wilson and Joe Rubenstein. Cover B from Mike Vosberg. And two new additional variant covers. First, from Mike Grell, cover C featuring Airman, and second, from Ramona Fraden, cover D, featuring Plymo, the Rubber Man. These variant covers can be backed individually or all together for a special price. In addition, we have digital versions of issues 1, 2, 3, and 4 available, sets of action figures featuring Surreal Ordeal, The Clerk, Graffiti, Panorama, and Monsieur Petit Reynard, we have t-shirts in various colors and sizes featuring the art of Daryl Young. You choose a character that you want, we place it on the front of the shirt, we put his logo on the left sleeve and the master's logo on the right. We have new buttons and trading cards and sticker sheets of the heroes appearing issue four. Our initial six stretch goals will be pinups of our six superheroes created by the one and only Tom Morgan. And if that isn't good enough for you, the original art for these pinups will be available for purchase as well as original art from comic book legends Stephen Butler, Bart Sears, Mike Vosberg, Ron Wilson, Joe Staten, Mike Grell, and the legend, the living legend, Ramona Freighton. There is something for everyone in the Masters issue number four Kickstarter, and there is also everything for everyone as well. You see, by the conclusion of this campaign, the Masters issue four will be completed and at the printer waiting for Kickstarter funds to hit and will ship immediately thereafter. You heard me right, issue four will be an immediate ship once the campaign concludes and the Kickstarter monies are funded to our account. You see, while we were struggling to finish two issues two and three, we were still working hard behind the scenes producing issues four and five. We know we dropped the ball. This is us picking it up and running towards the goal line. Did I mention all of the covers? Did I mention all of the rewards and add-ons? Did I mention all the stretch goals? Did I mention all the action and adventure? Did I mention 48 pages chock full of Bronze Age goodness? 
Did I mention it'll be ready to ship at the conclusion of the campaign? I did, right? I guess that leaves only one thing to do, Power Comic fans. It is time to power up. Yeah.